Greetings and welcome to this short video that I'm doing on Google Drive in cleaning up the files to keep your free account under the maximum 15 gigabytes used. I'm Kathy Gross, Kurth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple. And I started doing this because I had originally had my Google Sync turned on so that way it would back up all my files and then I quickly realized that I was getting close to the maximum 15 gigabytes used and it kept on prompting me to upgrade my storage and all this other stuff. Well, I disconnected the Google Sync through my apps. I had to uninstall that from my computer and, and I thought that was good, but I was showing that I still had 13.7 gigabytes of 15 gigabytes used and I was trying to figure out why in the world am I still showing all this stuff because I went through and I cleaned out most of my emails. In fact, I had moved a lot of my emails to an alternative email account so I had cleaned all of that up, but I was still showing this huge amount of space still being used. So what I ended up doing, and I found this by accident yesterday, so I'm hoping this will help you guys out if you're trying to figure that out yourself. Well, when I was going through my, uh, and as you can see, I'm in my Google Drive folder right now. Under my drive right now, I, uh, I show that I only have three documents here. Okay, so I cleaned all that out. I thought that I, and I, and I trashed everything. I made sure that I don't have any computers connected. And like I said, I, I, I disconnected the Google, Google Sync, so I don't have that backing it up anymore. I've actually switched to OneNote, which, or, or One, OneDrive, which is, which is what I'm going to start using now. Uh, I have a couple of folders that I had that, I was sharing with other people or that they were sharing with me. I got rid of those. And then I came down here to recent. And oh my God, when you get to the recent folder, oh my word. I had much more than what I have now. I, uh, much of the stuff that I have is dating back. Right now I'm working on this. And, and most of this is dating back to 2008 and earlier. So... When, when I started working on this yesterday, I started to select some of these files. So you can select the first file, scroll down a little bit, and select, hold down shift and select the end file. And I wish there was a quicker way to do this, but I haven't been able to figure it out. So if you want to put it in the comments below, that would be great. But anyway, you got to wait on that to select everything. And then once you do that, just press the delete key or you can do this little uh, delete and that'll take those out. It might, depending on how many files you select, it might take a while for those to get moved out of there. But yeah, you pretty much have to do that. And as you can see right now, as of right now, I have 266.1 megabytes of 15 gigabytes used, so I was able to clear up a lot of storage or a lot of space just doing this. Now, this is something that I don't think it's relatively well known. Uh, if, if I had known it, I would have been doing this anyway all along, but I had no idea. So anyway, what you would do is under your Google Drive folder, you go under your recents and make sure you keep that cleared out because if you don't, then you're going to run into, and then you also have to go under the trash here. So we'll do that real quick. We'll go under the trash real quick, and then you have to empty the trash periodically. And you need to kind of do this on a, as you're going through and deleting out these files, then you need to go ahead and empty the trash periodically because otherwise the, the tab will bog down and, and stuff like that. So you have to do it a little bit at a time. So I'm switching back over to the recents and I'm going to go ahead and do another batch. So I'm just not even counting these. I'm kind of using my little mouse to scroll down like eight little things here. And then I select, hold down shift to select the group as you can see here. And it takes a little while for it to select, or for it all to tag, or whatever you want to call this. And here we go. It's showing that I have 146 files selected. So I'm going to go over here to the trash can. You can also use the delete key on your keyboard to do this as well. Once you do that, do that several times and then empty out the trash and continue that cycle. And again... I hope you found this helpful. If you want to 
talk to me about any of the other services I provided. Primarily, I do customized one-on-one -on -one training, among other things. Visit my website and set up a discovery call with me. Take care, everybody, and have a wonderful day.